Welcome, everyone, to Tucson, Arizona. Arizona Stadium with this red and blue crowd ready to bear down with their Wildcats. Maybe you need a little caffeine, or maybe the sheer energy of this matchup will keep you wide awake as we know anything can happen when you kick off after dark. As we'll see, the Coyotes taking on a team from the Big 12, the Arizona Wildcats. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Arizona will kick off to get things underway. Bringing it back. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. The Coyotes return team will have that offense backed up. Here he comes, and obviously defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right, they better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. And the Coyotes racing to the line in the hurry up. Give to the back. Tackled, but he has a first down. And this is a guy that can find you the hidden yardage. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. From their own 23, it'll be first and 10. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Yeah, it's a bit of a surge, and he's knocked down after picking up three to the 26. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Just when they're looking run, now up top. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. Just got to finish the play for the wide receiver. Got to look that one in and complete it. It's a bad drop. On third and long, he has to throw for it. He's got an open man. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. Yeah, and you see some quarterbacks who hesitate to throw the ball in the middle. I love it when you attack the whole field. And the middle of the field and being able to throw over linebackers and between safeties is a big skill. But show that defense. You'll, you'll, you will attack everywhere. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. As the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. The seventh play of this opening drive, they'll need to move the chains on third and short. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. The Coyotes get enough for the first down. You know, this is a running back who wants the ball, and he wants the offense to run through him. Really nice job there on the third down of this opening drive for his offense. I can't wait to see what kind of game this guy's going to have. To the air on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Beal. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion, and the shortest throw on the field, the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. Buys a little time. Trying to escape and get it himself. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. Pulls it and fires to the left. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. From the gun, the ground game. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Dingoes! The offense goes as he goes, so really no surprise on the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He showed you all of his ability on that TD. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. 
So Arizona's offense will have its first possession of the game. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, the, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy on the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. What could have been set up on a long yard of situation now becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. They'll try to get the first through the air. Firing to the right, complete. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chain. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. Now, these RPOs always put the defense in a bind, but listen, you give up the run, they get a short little gain, no harm, no foul. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The give to the single back. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. That didn't bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. Wants to throw. It's Fafita. It's complete to the right. And they wrap him up, but not before. He gets it up on the catch for the first down. Arizona moving the ball quickly down the field. They'll go to the ground. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. They'll run it out of the shotgun. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Fires to the tight end. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. Arizona in a hurry. Well, not down in distance. The quarterback's got to get rid of it so quickly, right? He knows the defense is going to be bearing down on him. So a nice job catching the gun snap and then turning and pivoting, getting it out of his hands quickly and accurately to pick up the first. Looking for room. It's Conley. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. Trick nine, to the ground with the back. The Wildcats have enough for the first down. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early using his legs to buy some time. Couldn't find anybody to throw to. He'll just toss it away. It'll be second down. Know the situation, know the game of football, right? When I start to get outside the pocket, I don't see anything there. I can throw the ball away. I don't have to take a sack, get a lost yardage play. I can just throw the ball out of bounds as long as it passes the line of scrimmage. We go on to the next down. No harm, no foul. This time on target. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain. 
This offense knew coming into this one, guys, how important it was to start early. And on this opening drive for them, they're doing a nice job running the football there on third down. They're in a position. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Wildcats! A methodical drive, soul-crushing, spirit-breaking, and it ends in a touchdown. And listen, I know everybody wants the big plays, the big, long touchdowns and all that stuff, but putting a drive together like that is very difficult to do time and time again, and it's demoralizing for the defense. Great drive by the offense. And they tacked on the extra point. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And the scoring play came on the 12-yard run. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner will be knocked down. Just enough time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Weaves his way ahead and gets five out to the 18-yard line. Here comes the offense on second down. Absolutely nothing settled. Deadlocked after one period of play as we have a look at the stats. That first quarter set the standard, and we hope we get a lot more of that here in the second. We'll start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. They'll give it to the back. Twist his way through. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. And the Coyotes want to crank the tempo. He's going to pass. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. That is a great example of the D-line playing with tremendous awareness. That player knew he was not going to get to the quarterback, wasn't going to sack him. So he slowed himself down, got under control, located the quarterback, and then got his big paws in the air to knock it away. Give to the running back. He'll push his way out to the 30, a pickup of three. It'll take some work to get to the sticks. It's third and long from the 30. From the gun, wants to pass. Working that left side now. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down, and now they have to make a call. The Coyotes will punt it away on fourth down. Let's see what he can do with it. He gets a block. sideline into the game with that touchdown. Yeah, and you could see once he left everybody in the dust and he was going to the house, the sidelines going nuts. What a big time play to take the lead. Defense did his job. Now special teams coming through in a big way. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. So his big play capability was on full display in that one as he took that punt back for the touchdown. Looks like he's going to try to return it. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. Now this offense is back on the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Pass is incomplete, but there is a flag, and the D might have been a little First too run, rough on the quarterback uh, there. Defense. Defense. 
That was right on the borderline. You want to make that quarterback feel you, but the official thought it was a little too much in the roughing the passer penalty. The defense in a most benevolent move, giving the offense a new set of downs. Quarterback on the keeper. He's there to make the stop. And the Coyotes are in the hurry up. Really nice job by the defense, shutting down all the options. Don't let him get into his reading phase. Go get him right now, play sound, and more importantly, tackle him and get him on the line. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He'll push his way out to the 38, pick up a three. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. From the gun, wants to pass. Quarterback adapting. This senior quarterback moving the chains and picking up a first down for his team. The Coyotes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Bad news for the defense. They give up a first down on a scramble. Good news, though, they got a lick on that quarterback. That is a dream shot for anybody on defense. So, yeah, you might have made a good play individually. Good job, bud. Out of boy. You might get a helmet sticker for that, but you're also going to be in the ice bath that long game. From the gun, the running back has it. Nice gain of six, leaving them with third and four. Trying to pick up a first down. Snap from the gun on third down. And they needed a little more room to work with as that one sails out of bounds. And the Coyotes will call on their punt team. He might just try to keep it away from this guy after a house call came after the first punt. He'll field the punt and see what he can get. Really nice job all the way around. Got a few blocks, made a couple of moves, and a good return on that one before he's pushed out of bounds. They've got the big fellas out there. A three tight end look on first and ten. From the gun. Give on the inside. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. After picking up a couple at second and eight. They'll try the run. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. They're trying to get to it. And trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. The Wildcats will have to send out the punt team. Well, what that punt lacked in height, it made up for by being short. Makes a move. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. So we'll see the offense on the field to start this drive. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them to football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. He's looking to throw. Unloads it downfield. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Well, on defense, they know that this offense is going to try and take shots. They're going to try and keep their secondary players in a position to make these types of plays. Good job on the back end forcing that incompletion. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. And they got him for the sack. Great job up front on this pass rush. Defense in a dime personnel grouping. They've got six DBs on the field. They're expecting pass, so they're going to have to win with four guys. And they're 4-1. They got the job done. Makes the catch, and now looking for just a little bit of... Oh, my goodness, he's still moving. 
Very little will make a crowd hold its breath like a punt return, and he brought them to their feet on that one. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up with an opportunity to get some points. Start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the field. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The give to the back. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Looking to move it through the air. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Just causing wreckage in the secondary. He gets it past the first down marker and a really nice job to set up that screen and move the sticks. No matter how many times they tell you to look for it, it is tough to defend a perfectly executed screen. Yeah, because I'm trying to go get the quarterback, and it looks everything looks like pass, but when you see it, when you see that screen, you got to retrace your steps, get back in the play. Nice job by the offense. The defense just has to recognize that a little bit sooner. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Looking for a man. It's Fafita. He caught it. And he won't be able to push his way in. He stopped at the one. How many first downs is that, guys? On this drive alone, this defense has got to find a way to get off the field. They're playing way too many snaps. Arizona lines up with a first and goal. Trying to pound their way in. Touchdown, Wildcats. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. And I love the bounce back for this offense. We lost a week ago. Let's put that in the rearview mirror. That game's gone. Let's improve. Let's get better. So far in this first half, they've done just that. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Louisville found a way to pull out a victory. It wasn't vintage Cardinals football today. Those Cards fans won't remember this one forever. But they will remember it was a double. The circle of life in college football, where one team moves on feeling like kings and the other heads home licking its wounds. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. These guys aren't human anymore. I mean, they got to survey the field, throw the football, make deep passes, and then guess what else? They pull the ball down, take off, and make big chunks of plays on the ground. It's just impossible to be on defense nowadays. Oh, he's going to take a shot at the DB. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football, no PI, able to swat it away, pass incomplete. Getting some heat. And the defense gets to the quarterback. And listen, the quarterback drops back, and he's going through his progressions. We see his zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. Third down conversions, always a huge stat. And they've got a third and long from the 27. Power football with the run. Picks up just a few before he's brought down. Not really willing to take a risk there on third and long. The defense uses their second timeout of the half as they try to get their act together. The Coyotes will try to pin them back with the punt. 
Now on the return. He's got great speed. Found a little running room on that one. Picked up some nice blocks before he's run out of bounds. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. They've been the height of efficiency here in the first half, David. You've got to think they're going to try to click it right down the field here. When you're looking at your playbook and it's worked so well in the first half, I'm going to continue to do what I've been doing, Palmer, because it's been all gas. Pollock, that's right. Strike while the iron's hot, too, before this defense gets to go in at halftime and potentially make some adjustments, show you some different looks in the second half. Whatever you've been doing, it's working. Keep it up. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He finds his man. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. They'll immediately call timeout. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Trying to find his man on first down. He's going for the big play. The pass ball is incomplete, and there are eight seconds left. Well, the defender got his hand on that one, tipped it up in the air, and offense, man, they're lucky that one wasn't picked. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. That keeps the score, Arizona. One more snap coming before halftime. He wants to throw. The pass falls incomplete, and that's how we'll finish this half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, fellas. The end of a very entertaining first two quarters of football. And you know, in a day where the spread option and air raid are the offenses of choice, how nice is it to see the three yards and a cloud of dust approach? Although we've also seen some runs go for a lot longer. Physical offensive lines coupled with great backs is like a throwback to the olden days, and that's refreshing. And with that, let's send it back to the fellows at Arizona Stadium. All right, Kevin, about ready to start the second half here. And the Coyotes Number will kick it off to start the second half. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. Keeping it on the ground to open the second half. Picks his way and gets four out to the 27. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. He'll do it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And as a defensive player, you see so much option nowadays and so many different variants of it. And you got to play very disciplined, sound football. And you could tell he knew he was responsible for the quarterback. He goes and gets him, sits him on the ground, creates a tackle for him. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. After taking another look, just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. The play will stand. The Wildcats have it with a first and ten. From the gun, running back on the move. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. They feed him again. And the Wildcats pick up the first down. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Now on second down. On the option. And maybe a wise move not to even try the pitch as he's knocked down in the backfield. Brings up third down. Play number seven on this drive, and it'll be third and two. Cooler, cooler. They'll stick to the ground, looking for the marker. On the move, 
at the 30. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Third down and two, you know it's time to get physical, and this unit paves the way, Jesse, and gets the big first down. And this back's got such a burst, too, doesn't he? As soon as he saw the hole, he exploded through it and picked up a huge chunk of yards. Trying to get to it. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long different ways to affect him, weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy, and that's why the ball falls incomplete. They move the tight end all over. They'll leave it with him. Staying physical in the red zone as he's pulled down after picking up three balls at the 14. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Grab near the marker. It's McMillan. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Well, I know it's early this season, but it's obvious already. This guy is a major weapon in this offense. Had two touchdowns in his first game. He's now on the board right now. What a difference maker and a playmaker he's going to be this season for this offense. On to attempt the try. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and they top it off with a 14-yard pass for the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone, it's Flowers. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. And let's see what kind of ball plays this offense has ready. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, they've been making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with this decision. He's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang quickly. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Coyotes will hustle through the line. Out of the shotgun on third down. Feeling some heat. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. The third down offense has not been good, and add this one to the tap. Another third down stop. They give up the sack. They're down by three-plus possessions. Nothing going this offense as well. Fields to punt and tries to help improve that field position. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. They had this thing in a hammerlock at halftime, and now they are really ratcheting up the pressure, David. And I tell you what, this offense doesn't have to change a thing, Palmer. They've done what they wanted in the first half and starting off the second half in the same fashion. And I like how they're letting different guys get involved, too. They've got so many different playmakers all over the field. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Now on first down from the 28. They'll give it to him again. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. And that would be the definition of first down success, putting yourself in a good position. It's second and in inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of down. Pressure all over the quarterback, and down he goes at the 24. Man, that's a killer. Second and in inches, you want to take a shot and make a big play, but now it turns a third down situation that could have been really good to a third and long, and this offense now has to execute at a high level. 
They've got a ways to go on third down from the 24 as this defense tries to force them into a field goal try. Throws to the wideout. And it's incomplete on third down. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. The kicker will try to punch one through from 41 yards away. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. And they'll push that lead out a little further. Just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Guys, this offense coming back out onto the field. They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24, but if they're going to climb it, this is a good time to start. Sense of urgency's got to be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point of the game, David. They've got to score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops, but at this point, offensively, they've got to execute much more. they, they got to be super aggressive. Down 24, you're going to need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kind of go your way. So fast and throw in the football. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. He's looking to throw. They're bringing heat. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. Well, we've seen this offense struggle early in this game, protecting the quarterback. They went in at halftime, thought they'd made the right adjustments, but it's not looking like it right now. They're still having issues keeping this guy standing up straight. Up front, they're just getting beat across the board. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. He hurls one deep down the left side. Fires the pass, intercepted. Taking it the other way. He'll go out of bounds, but he gets the ball back, takes it the other way, and he has created a great sudden change opportunity. Well, the defense is expecting pass on that one third and long. They dial up the perfect coverage and a great job in the back end, reading and reacting to the quarterback when the ball was in the air, coming away with a massive interception. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it to the right, looking for the goal line. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. All right, so now you're in this third-down situation close to the goal line, and it just feels, David, like they're going to have to throw the football in order to score a touchdown here. I like maybe trying to get the quarterback outside on the perimeter and give him a run-pass option. I like that, too, getting the quarterback on the move. And here's the thing. If I get close and I get stopped, it's fourth down. Fourth down means go for it. That's all that means now today in college football. Touchdown, Arizona! And the stomping has commenced. And this offense looking more and more like themselves. This is what we're accustomed to seeing. Last week, more of a blip, right? 0-1 to start the season. Kind of had some bad vibes, some bad mojo. Bounced right back, putting up a ton of points. And this one is all but over. 1-1 one one is here for this team. Just when you think it's automatic, it's not. Extra point, no good. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Flowers. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. And the offense takes over to dip into its bag of ball plays. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, and Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. you got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drop. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. They'll go right back to the run. At the 35, he's got room. 
They bring him down. He's got a first down, but that might be the final play of the third quarter. And that's a first down for the offense. That's the end of the quarter, and Arizona has the lead here. And they are starting to pull away as we come to the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at how we got here. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Jack Rabbit. He's looking to throw it. And he can't make the connection on his first attempt. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. You've got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. You've got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. Yeah, nice coverage. You would like to snag that interception, but there's always a reason why these thoroughbred athletes play defense. Usually because of their lack of hands, like we just saw. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. That'll be enough for a first down as he crosses the 50 and gets it to the 48. Well, it's a good time to mix in the run play. You're down.
quarter right now, and everyone's expecting you to throw, so not a lot of defenders in the box. So that's a great situation to try to run the ball. And the Coyotes are marching down the field. Wants to throw on first down. Pass is incomplete, but there is a flag beside the quarterback, and this might be a roughing call. Look at the pass, pass, defense. Look, you want to make the quarterback feel you. You want to get pressure in his face. That was so close, but just a tad late. The offense comes back out with a new set of downs after the penalty. They'll throw it on first down. Unloads to the right. He's got it. Touchdown, Dingoes! Made the snag and strolled his way into the end zone. Number With that 13. last touchdown now, they're trying to create some momentum. They're trying to avoid starting the season 0-1. They know they've got a lot of work to do here in the second half, but you should be feeling pretty good about that last score. Now you've got to keep that up. The Coyotes have it with a first and 10. The give to the tailback. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, this offense, man, they just continue to struggle. They just, they need to find something that they do really, really well. And running the football late in the fourth quarter when you're getting beat by a good bit, that's probably not it. This offense needs to hit the gas, and they need to pitch and catch a little bit throw the football. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Right through his hands. He had a touchdown and just didn't put the ball in. It'll be fourth down. No hesitation at all. The offense stays on the field. They'll go for it. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. The incomplete pass, fourth down, fails, and they'll turn it over. Listen, with the aggressiveness of offenses and taking chances, a lot of times it's going to put your defense in a hole. And this defense is going to have to come through in the clutch right here because you're trailing. They can't get more scores. They got to get a stop on this possession, and the offense is going to have to do better than they just did. They need to find enough space and get it moving forward, and they're up to the 22. That kind of pick up on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. Leaves it with the back. He breaks a tackle. They'll mark it down, and that'll be enough for an Arizona first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. They'll snap it from the 25 here on first down. The give to the back. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Spider. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. Cross the 30 out to the 33 and gains four on the play. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. He'll have enough to move the chains. It's first down at the 38. You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominating at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. Are you ready? This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? They'll run it. They want to take their time here. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Here we go. They'll try to hit the sideline on the jet sweep. At the 45 on his way. 
They're ripping off chunks of yard to get it to the 33. I love when you run this play because it forces the defense to react. Do you want to spin a safety down? Somebody better keep contain. Very hard to defend the jet sweep. It's a very good play, especially when you got somebody with speed taking that handoff. Brought down just outside the red zone. He moves the chains. It's at the 22. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. The offense down to the 22 on first and 10. They're going to ride this running back. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves the change for the first down. Offense has a huge lead right now in the fourth quarter, and they're just going to run this football to try to ice the game, being more dominant, being more physical at the point of attack. And the Wildcats will try to punch it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Great team defense on that run play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. The clock keeps going tick, 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 tick as the offense takes an E inside a minute to go in this one. So with the late lead, they're ready to just drain the clock in victory formation. Don't want to risk anything here. The quarterback takes a knee. When you know you have a team out of class, the ability to play to that standard and finish with a blowout like this is really impressive. And it's almost like playing against yourself, right? You know you're better. You know you're going to win the football game. But how do I continue to still execute? This, this was so easy. Great execution. Uh, just beat down in every facet. I think as a player, you just love being in such great rhythm. And we saw that right from the get-go in this game. Offense just able to matriculate the ball down the field. Defense was not giving anything up. What a great game plan coming in. And this was just total domination. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.